What's up guys, Nightpack here, coming at you with another Dirty Bomb video. This episode, I'm gonna be trying out some new classes that I haven't tried, or at least classes I'm not very well versed at. So we're gonna be trying out Bushwhacker, then we're gonna be trying out Nader, and then we're gonna be trying out... Oh, does Nader just get out of free rotation? Wow. As of recording this video, I had just played a game and I was playing with Nader. I guess Nader is out of free rotation. So, instead of Nader, I'm going to be trying... I actually have Facilia unlocked, but I want to try out Phantom. I think a lot of people are going to be playing Phantom, because Phantom's a really cool class. It's almost like hey. the spy in Team Fortress 2. I actually have a silver Phantom, which is awesome. However, it's not a very good Phantom. Well, shouldn't say that. It doesn't have the sword. It has a knife. Um, so it's not like the katana wielding class. Which is interesting because the card itself has not wielded katana. They really need to update the card. So yeah, I'm going to be trying out Phantom. And I guess I'll also try out Rhino. So, um... You know, Rhino is considered overpowered by a lot of people. So I want to try it out. See if it's you know really overpowered or not. Um, all right, let's go ahead and load up a game and just do objective. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna play two games and however long two games is, that's how long the videos can be from now on. Um, so let's try out these new characters. I love the free rotation stuff because it gives people a chance to try new things and helps balance because if you have a class that no one has, then the one person that has it isn't going to say, this is super OP, of course. Or they might if they're a good person, but, you know, most people in video games choose whatever advantage they can get. Then destroy the servers with two EMP I haven't noticed a bunch of hackers in this game. I know there are hackers. Um, but the nice thing is that while you're dead, you can see your teammates. So if you see your teammate hacking, you can just report them. They usually almost always get removed. Fortunately, you can report the other team because you have no way of spectating or no kill cam. Which I don't like kill cams, but they are good for... Um, you know, checking if someone's hacking. I would like they implemented an after-the-fact recording of the game. Just to see, you know, what it's like. Uh, you know, look through people, other people's eyes and the other team and all of that. So I don't really know how refractive armor works. It looks like, basically, it's just extra health, but also invisibility. I got it. Sand it. So, I know the marker removes your refractive armor coloring, or the, the uh, heartbeat sensor, but they did a patch, and now it doesn't actually remove the armor itself. So, refractive armor is basically you turn on a shield that also turns invisible. It's actually pretty powerful. Um... I'm gonna see if I can use it in different ways. I'm gonna go and use it through this hallway since I know a lot of people come through here. Ah, got me with this sniper. Yo, there's a turret on the bridge. Alright, let's try out Rhino. Now, Rhino is a shotgun, but his special ability is a machine minigun with a ton of ammo, which is why he's OP. A lot of people don't even use his primary, they just use the minigun. See, as you can see, I mean, it just chews through enemies like they're nothing. There is an overheating timing, but it's basically a portable version of those. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother repairing. As you can see, I'm just chewing through enemies. Just instantly. There is no... I have no trouble just chewing through them. 
And it's basically infinite ammo, too. Even enemies that are ranged, like, I'm still hitting him. They knocked out the EV. Repair it. And you can keep the barrel spun up, so the second someone comes around, boom, I shoot them in their face. EV repaired. Now escort it to the objective. <coughs> like, this shouldn't be a thing that you can do. finally killed me but as you can see I'm at the top of the scoreboard it's like nothing and I and for being a slow class you pull out your knife you still run pretty fast so I don't know uh, I think it's OP from what I've played I've said that with the nader and then changed my mind but this is it's just so easy the infinite ammo is another thing it's like <laughs> you know, it's like infinite ammo. Oh, it overheats. They increase the overheat timer. It may be more fair, but until then, yeah, it's it's not fair at all. I'm just gonna try and sneak around behind them and just use my minigun on them. <laughs> like. Even just suppression wise, that the pinging and bidding them was a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I, I'm effectively just not even having to do anything. Other than just hold my gun out and spray me on the So, yeah, Rhino OP, 100%. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous how easy it is. I'm not going to keep playing Rhino, though. Not, you know, because it's OP, which isn't fair. But if you get used to an OP class, then you don't know how to play the game correctly. And that's where the problem comes in. Because if they change how the class is structured or make it less OP, then you have no experience playing a fair class. Yeah, I am just tearing through these guys. There is 
We pushed the objective up so fast. We still got seven minutes left to just do the final objective. Kind of ridiculous. Which is I'm fine with. I don't mind just getting kills after kills. But it shouldn't be easy to get kills after kills. I get about the same amount of kills using my regular classes. But not because they're OP, but because I've played with them for a while. This is my, I think, second time playing Rhino, and the first time I barely played them at all. And it's like... Go ahead and construct this. You get a lot of uh, experience for constructing. It's always a good idea to do side objectives, especially if you need experience. GG. I, I still gotta work on my talking, guys. I'm sorry. It's probably super boring just watching me just sit there and go around, run around, and do nothing all game. Or not talk all game, but. Yeah, so. Rhino, overpowered. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dedicate this episode to Rhino just to kind of show off what he's really about. Because the other classes, everyone kind of knows, they're pretty balanced. But Rhino's definitely overpowered so we use them for the rest of this episode the next episode we'll probably switch it up a bit maybe go back to my normal classes try out a different game mode so i don't really like underground uh bridge is just okay but i also don't really like i'm i don't know i don't like a lot of the indoor maps i think it's a lot less i think it's a lot more fun to be playing on the outside just the aesthetics and the uh, fun of it is, I think it's a lot more. Um, so let's see. Looks like only two people could be a rhino on my team and no one could be a rhino. Oh, one person is going to be a rhino on their team. So, I if we both become rhino on our team, then I think that's just going to be GG. But... Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna set up with Rhino and just sit on the objective. Uh, Cause I'm guarding. I'm on the guarding team, the defenders. You see in the top left. So I'm just gonna sit near the EV and just spray anyone that even gets close to it. And I think that's a good battle plan. First, don't let them get the EV to the GH So I'll be quiet through these. Then defend the research lab. Finally, don't let them get the drug samples to the container. By the way, hopefully my microphone's a lot better. I noticed that I turned down the gain on it because I thought it was too loud with all the action and gunfire. I made it a little too quiet. So hopefully this is better now so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Go ahead and get set up on the EV. MLG mean. So here we go. Corner, check around. Ah. <laughs> so it takes a turret, two guys, another rhino. And then a bushwhacker to take me down. Jesus, that, he has just so much health. Twice as much health as most mercs. Some mercs have like 120 or so, but 200. Ah. 
Uh, Rhino in the top turret. That's actually not a bad idea. His health allows him to be a big. He's a big target, but when he's in that turret, he has a ton of health and he's a smaller target than normal. Usually, you're a bigger target if you're in there, but he's just so big that it's actually a good defense for him to sit in that. Still, so, I'm not doing as well as I was doing last game, but if you notice, it still takes about three people on their team dedicating completely to me to take me out. And even just that distraction is helping my team. Just being basically body shield for my team is still helping us out, so. Like they're gonna make it but yeah the, uh, still powerful even though I'm not doing as well I can still tell he's really powerful no doubt about that Let's see if I can go ahead and So something a lot of people do when they're on the objectives, they don't move at all. You can move a little bit when you're on the objective. And I would recommend crouching and uncrouching, moving back and forth a little bit. Because a Vasili can easily take out people who stand still on the objective. No problem. I think I'm gonna end the video there guys. Alrighty, there's some Rhino gameplay. OP, my opinion, yeah, very. Um Minigun just too strong. Uh if it had a quicker overheat and Yeah, quicker overheat would basically solve the problem. It just has too much. I can only, I can use the I can use his second or his special ability as a